I'm going to give a quick overview of Fermat's library. It's a website, fermatslibrary.com, which provides a service where you can comment on papers in the margins on their website. So here I have a, a paper pulled up already called The Development of Erlang. And on the sides of the paper here, you can see that there are some text boxes. If I uh, move my mouse over those, I can get them to expand a little bit. And then if I click on them, I can get the full comment here. So here I, I see that a person asked a question and then another person replied back to that, to the comment. And then after that, there was another comment. So there's actually a, a, an example of some communication in a paper here. And then they have a box on the left-hand side here that I can actually write my own uh, commentary in. And if I click on the paper again, then I uh, hide the sidebar conversation. They also have a follow paper button that allows you to see what comments are being made on a given paper. And again, if I click on something, it'll expand into a comment field. So you can see there are comments on both sides of the paper here, and then those both expand. Uh, the other feature besides the comments and the following paper, at the very bottom there's a discussion button. So if I click on that discussion, you can see that's sort of fixed in the lower right hand corner. And it takes me into a section where it just has an empty field where I could leave a comment in the general paper. If I didn't want to have my comments associated with a specific piece uh, of text here. So the way that one adds text, since I'm signed in, is I would click on a section here and it would automatically open up the sidebar again. And then I would leave a comment there and then it would leave a little bit of uh, snippet uh, next to the paper here as an example that there is a comment to be found. So that's the main features of Fermat's library. Uh, they have what's called the Journal Club, and that's basically a set of papers that were commented on um, from various fields, and you can see how many comments there were. So if I go into physics, for example, you see these papers have comments in them. Uh, from what I've seen, most of the comments are actually by the site creators, and there's a team of folks who are leaving comments. So uh, these are actually pretty good comments and they're useful, um, but there doesn't seem to be a ton of activity. That's just because there are a lot of papers to leave comments on. I have a place where you can sign up for notification of what's in the Journal Club. The other feature that unfortunately is not working right now is the Chrome extension called Librarian. So if I, I'm in Chrome and I try and get that, there is nothing to be gotten. But it sort of gives a preview of the same concept within a, a, a browser extension. So that's a feature that's not available, but uh, I think it'd be useful. Um, and then they have the last sort of feature is if you have signed in, then you can upload papers. And when you upload papers, the uh, paper is not available publicly unless you give the URL. So that's all that Mars Library has to offer as far as I can tell. Um, I think it's a really cool surface, so I recommend trying it out.